When in our lives is God most able to work through us? It is in the time where everything is going well, everything is going according to our plan, or it can be in the other way. Good morning, friends, and I'm Richard, and welcome to this daily brief gospel reflection. And today's reading is taken from Luke 12, uh, Luke 21, verses 12 to 19. For in, before Jesus will come, or be it's a continuation of the gospel to yesterday, that before everything, the distractions will take happen, all of us will be persecuted, all of us will undergo such times in our lives that you couldn't even imagine. But during this time, or through this time, it is where God would be able to work through us. It is a bit difficult for Jesus to work in our lives when we find ourselves that everything seems to be fine, everything is going well, whereas it seems to be the world is going well on us or working on us. And the other way is that it is when we are also in control of everything that we'd like to do, whether at work or the plans that we do or the desires in our hearts, it is difficult for Him to work in us if we want to be in control of all these things, our desires, our plans. And so, dear friends, with the gospel today, we are reminded that it's a reality that we will be facing persecutions. It's going to be very tiring, though. It is very challenging. But if, but during these times, these tribulations, rejections, persecutions, challenges, it is where or when God would be able to really work in our respective lives. It is even the times that even He's the only one whom we can cling on. And it is in the best time wherein we could really find refuge in His arms. But what's most amazing, my dear friends, is that even though the times that, um, by the times that we are in control, things are going well, that we don't recognize His, uh, his presence, but He remained. He is faithful, He is loving. He remained in us, waiting for us, that the time that we will recognize Him, that by the time that we will be needing Him, by the time that we will be seeking refuge in Him. And so, dear friends, it's a reminder, good reminder for all of us today. Always take heart for this faithful and loving God. He never rejects us and always awaiting for us to, for us to return to Him. And so to end, always remember that you are blessed. And such blessings are not meant for you to be kept, but for you to share to others. May you have a great day ahead. Adios.